I've never done videos like this and I keep trying to figure out where do I start. So I guess I'll just start. Um, I want to do more videos that talk about, well, just that, that just are about talking. Uh, I want to do videos where I get into like, what am I working on right now? What's happening in my studio, like weekly check-in type of thing, or talk about um, creative problems and solutions uh, and topics that have been on my mind. And so, okay, what am I working on right now? What's going on in my studio? I am getting ready for LuxCon, which is coming up in just over a week from now, uh, which means that I am uh, finishing up if there's any pieces that I plan to bring with me um, that I can get done in time to dry and varnish and frame and have in the show, like pretty much that window's closing like right now. So uh, today I'll be just kind of like putting the finishing touches on some stuff that I'm bringing. And um, it also means really like final decisions on what I'm bringing at this point, like if I don't have frames, I'm probably not going to be able to get them in time. So um, really just kind of going through, mocking up like what my space is going to look like uh, and all that. And if you don't know what a LuxCon is, it's a, a show for um, traditional media, illustration and art. Uh, it happens every year in October in Reading, Pennsylvania, which just happens to be very near where I live. Uh, so it's really convenient. But one of the best shows, uh, if you if you like original art, um, it's worth the trip. People come from all over the world. Uh, but it's also a very small, intimate environment where you can really kind of like hang out, chill out, see everything, talk to people, and not feel like you're getting jostled around in a big Comic-Con crowd. Anyway, um, so I am uh, just wrapping up my prep for that. And uh, I've got a commission piece for Sideshow Collectibles that I'm really excited about. I don't know when that'll be public, probably not for a while. Um, I've got some private commission work that I'm uh, hopefully getting done in the next few days. And then I think I'll be starting on my next uh, concept for um, I don't know if I'll do another movie-inspired piece. Uh, Escape from New York is finished. Um, I have to varnish and photograph it, but hopefully we get that done um, also within the week. I want to bring that piece to a LuxCon with me, so I'll have the rest of those videos up on my Patreon. I might have some kind of a condensed thing on YouTube. I don't know. Um, and then is is there any kind of like creative topic that's been on my mind. I think something that I've been kind of thinking about uh, is is um, a good universal uh, tool to help deal with problems. I feel like this actually applies to pretty much all aspects of my life. But if I'm ever facing a moment of indecision or, or overwhelmed uh, feelings about something, um, if I can remember to stop and ask myself the question, why? Usually that really, really helps me kind of figure things out. Um, and it might depend on the specific situation, why what? But you know, often just stopping and, and asking the question why, it, it creates a roadmap to where you need to go because it helps simplify the problem. So you know, if I'm feeling Let's say I'm working on a, a, a painting and I'm, I'm thumbnailing it and I'm feeling like I'm just not getting it. Like it's, it's not clicking, it's not exciting, it's not capturing what I want it to capture. Uh, just to take a step back and ask, well, why am I doing this piece? Really helps me refocus. Like what's the, what's the intention here? So if I stop and ask myself, why am I doing this piece? And the answer is um, because a client is hiring me to create a dynamic cover based on this story or scene or whatever. That helps me at least kind of refocus the priorities on what does my client need 
and how close am I to getting there and what can I do to get there? Um, if I'm doing a personal piece and I ask myself, you know, why am I doing this piece? Sometimes I have like unexpected uh, answers come up there where I might have started a piece based on some impulse, emotional uh, feeling, um, um, visual flash that came to me, uh, just something that had been rolling around in the back of my head for a long time. And by the time I finally get to sitting down and working on it, uh, I might have lost track of some of the uh, original impulse for it, or I might have never really fully interrogated where those impulses were coming from. And if it's like, hmm, I don't know if this is working, why am I doing it? That really kind of helps to, to clear out all the unnecessary stuff and, and just um, refocus on what is the most important thing to this piece, what is going to make it succeed. And you can't make something succeed if you don't know what it's trying to do. Uh, and why really helps figure that out. And also, like, I think this is just generally helpful for me in um, prioritizing my day, uh, trying to, you know, deal with uh, even, even just like interpersonal uh, uh, conflicts if I'm having, you know, if I'm having a thing with somebody and just stop and think like, why is this happening? Or why am I acting this way? Or uh, why might they be feeling the way they're feeling? You know, always just stopping to, to kind of like bring it back down to the, but why really I think is, um, it's, it's a good uh, potential simplification device to uh, get down to the essence of something and, and find a way to move forward through that uh, where you're actually headed in the right direction. So now I've got to go, uh, what am I doing today? Oh, I was going to make some buttons. I got to go order some buttons. Um, I'm going to have free giveaway buttons at my booth at AluxCon, uh, you know, for, for um, just whoever wants one. I also got to work on some signage. I got some stuff to do, some prep for the show. So um, yeah, I think that's my day today. Hey, thanks for watching. I just wanted to let you know that $5 a month on my Patreon page will give you access to more videos, expanded videos, and more in-depth process discussion. And also early access to my originals before they go up for sale publicly. And remember, say no to AI by supporting your favorite artists, be that me or somebody else.